What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and today we're going to try and complete the world's quickest Samsung Z Flip 5 review. Yes, I have had the Z Flip 5 for nearly two weeks. Let's talk. So I want to get the specs out of the way very quickly. This is a flip phone. It has a 6.9 inch inner display at 120 hertz. It has a 3.4 inch outer display at 60 hertz. An 8 Gen 2 chip, Android 13, and it works great and it's efficient. So yeah, that was the, the positives of the device. It's a Samsung flip and it's the best Samsung flip they've ever made. There we go. Now negatives. It's a Samsung flip phone. To me, that's still a negative because in my personal opinion, me, I can't use this outer display like on a daily basis. It's just not going to work for me. I can't reply to certain apps. I can view all my notifications. I like that it has widgets like weather, clock, alarm. But for me, with someone with bad eyes, it's still not big enough. But for a lot of people, it will be. This phone is selling like hotcakes, and I get it. If you have smaller pockets for whatever reason, this will fit in there nicely. If you are that weirdo that likes to put your phone in your shirt pocket, have at it. But if you actually use a mobile phone on a day-to-day -day basis, I challenge you to only use the outer display. You can't. What you're going to have to do is open up the device. Oh, I nearly dropped it. Oh well. That's all the time. I know some reviewers that keep this phone open all the time. They put it in their pocket, it's always open. They rarely close it because it's less convenient. So listen to what I'm saying there. There are people that buy this phone to keep it open because it's less convenient shut. And that's the issue. When you're buying a Samsung Z Fold 5, which you shouldn't do if you've got the 4 because it's not an upgrade, but when you're buying a large foldable device, you've got a larger outer cover display. So you can use it all the time. When you then open the phone, you've got a wider aspect ratio to consume content or multitask, read books, do whatever you need to do. With the Flip 5, there's very little you can actually do on the outside so that means that most tasks have to be completed on the inside. And that's where you come into the biggest issue. If you're paying £1,050, like 1200 bucks, for this phone and mostly using it like this, are you mad? Buy the Samsung S23 Ultra, a fantastic class-leading phone with quad cameras, 4K resolution all, a 200 megapixel main camera, a 10 times optical zoom. Just buy that phone for the same price almost. And it's got an S Pen. If you're buying this phone, please think very long and hard and carefully about your actual use case scenarios. What are the functions that you need to fulfill? Is it to have a tiny screen that you can look at on the outside to tell the time? Buy a Casio digital watch. If it's multitasking or consuming content, don't buy the Flip 5. If it's taking photos and videos, again, don't buy the Flip 5. Dual camera setup. No good, no use to man or beast if you want to zoom. It's always going to be digital crop zoom. And from the 12 megapixel lenses and sensors, when you crop in, it's noisy, pixelated not good quality for again a thousand pound plus phone buy the s23 ultra now something i keep hearing about is but you can use it in flex mode so essentially i can stand it up but you better hope your tabletop's really tall if you want to be in frame or you're always going to be sitting you also better hope you're close to it to be able to see yourself on this tiny screen how about you buy a candy bar phone like the s23 ultra and just lean it against a wall is that not kind of like what this is doing? But you're getting a 200 megapixel lens. I don't know. I've just been 
a bit jaded by Samsung um, in the past month or two with the release of the Z Fold 5 being an absolute disgrace. The Flip 5 is not that. This is not a disgrace. If you're coming from a Flip 2 or Flip 3, this is an upgrade. It absolutely is. Even a Flip 4. The hinge is better. The phone folds almost flat. I'm not having it for everybody that says there's no gap. That I mean, You can see that there is still a gap. But the hinge is better. It is more as it slams shut. The hinge from 45 degrees all the way to like 160 is better. It's just not for me. I really hope you enjoy. I really hope it's a phone for you. It's just not for camera enthusiasts or multitaskers or people that use their phone every day. To be honest, if you're using your phone every day or you're one of those other people, don't buy this. Buy an S23 Ultra. Or if you want to branch out a little bit, buy a better phone. Buy the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Anyway, this has been more negative than I'd normally do, but I have to keep it real with you. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure you smash subscribe and like this video. If you're not, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another life. Until then...